Hey y'all and good morning. Welcome to our Grey House Vlogs. Today it's uh, thir Thursday. I've got one appointment today at 2.30 to look at carpet. Fun times. And I need to call the other carpet guy back. I need to make some return, return, return phone calls and get stuff done. But um, yeah, it's already 10 o'clock. It's probably after 10. And I haven't even gotten started yet. Oh, I also have to go to the post office to pay my P.O. box because it's due today. In the case brands and partnerships and companies want to send me, um, you know, stuff, I don't, I wouldn't have a P.O. box then. So let's go pay for that too. And I got to get a hot chocolate. So per use. So I came back in the house. I had already left, but I came back in the house because I forgot a scarf. Hold on. See, I can reach in this closet. <laughs> I can reach that, but not in the new closets. Or not in the new, whoa, hang on. Hang on, here we go. Okay, guys, thank you for falling down. So, um, in the new house, the mud bench area where I would be putting my coat, I cannot reach the top, the top thing, the top counter, the top cubby. I can't reach it. So, um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm thinking about putting some sort of like, like, uh, board, like boards, um, like baskets or something just to reach the baskets. Anyway, let me show you my house. So this is, let me, let me turn it around. Hold on. So here's the living room. It's completely empty except for the couch that's over here. Of course, the island is a complete disaster, so just ignore that. But look, I've straightened up the entertainment area, and I've straightened up this side. Don't look over there. This side here, and in preparation for pictures, I still have to clean the glass, all the glass here and stuff. But yeah, there we go. This part's ready for pictures. He's not going to be in the picture. Tonight, we are going to mop the floors and get, what am I filming? Ooh. We're gonna mop the floors and get furniture moved back in so we can stage because on Saturday, I'm actually, hold on, my gosh. I'm doing an open house for a client. And why are you not, why is the universe not working with me? So Saturday, I'm doing an open house for a client and um, so that's from noon to two, and then at 2.30 or 2.20, we're meeting my mom, dad, and sister, and brother probably, and their families for my dad's birthday. Hold on. So, so from like 11 until like, I don't know, 3.30 or four, we're gonna be busy doing other stuff. So, I've got to um, figure out time to get everything done. Sunday's the Super Bowl. We have no plans for the Super Bowl. We're making no plans for the Super Bowl except to clean the house. So, we'll have time to do stuff then. But anyway, let's go get a hot chocolate, shall we? Headed into Walgreens first because I needed to get those apple cider vinegar pills and my, my iron pills. <laughs> so, I'm wearing a coat today as I did yesterday. But literally two days ago, I didn't even need a coat. And I definitely won't need a coat later this week, so. <sighs> There's a line. Oh well. Back out of the house and look what I see. Our front door has been put in. I'm gonna step inside real quick to see what else is happening today. But that is exciting. <laughs> Nothing's really changed. But here's the little bench in my office area. Cat boxes are gonna go under here. He's gonna put more shelves on the side here and on the other side. So something I didn't really know is like apparently they're putting like caulking material all along the edges like that. Um, in the other bathroom and I'm assuming they're going to do the same thing with this bathroom here But it's exciting because the pantry's going in he's um, sprucing up my office closet 
And they haven't started on this shoe box in here. I don't know when they're gonna do it though. Maybe today. <laughs> P.O. Box is paid for and now I'm gonna head to the office and it didn't look like anybody was there so I think they're all out of class today but I already took the class um, it's not a required class it's just a class um, they wanted to take that I had already taken so if they're not there then I'm gonna go run some more errands hey guys I just got back in the car I'm about to run and pick Marvin up because we are going to the flooring company to look at carpet samples um, had the other carpet guy I called him and just let him know that we might be changing the style of carpet because we looked at an uncut cut pattern carpet but that's more expensive so and he's telling me now he's like oh yeah the the budget your builder gave you is kind of low and I was like okay well <laughs> what about it but anyway I just went to the title company because we had missed signing a doc on some documents that we signed we didn't miss it they forgot to have us sign it so we had to come sign it but it's no big deal because they're friends and I do some of my closings here so now I'm gonna go get Marvin and then we're gonna go to the carpet place again that we we're just at the other day you guys I think went with us and but this time we're actually gonna meet somebody and look at carpet so that will be kind of fun but yeah I keep saying but yeah we're inside the carpet store now and Marvin's looking at different options pretty sure we're gonna upgrade because the samples that were left out mm -hmm. for us to just kind of look at until the guy gets here mm -mm, we're gonna have to upgrade that's okay because it is what it is I'm sure the more expensive carpet is the one that I want but it is what it is um, we're not gonna go with the pattern carpet just because I think that's um, have more waste to it so we want something that's not gonna be wasteful but it's gonna be an upgrade we want plush we want soft we don't want something super thin or anything so We'll see what he says and go from there. I am in Kirkland's now and I'm looking at all kinds of stuff that I absolutely do not need. But um, the thing about Kirkland's is it's kind of like Bath, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. Like they have like a scent in here, but it's like almost like too strong. But I was just looking at the clearance stuff to see if there's anything that I just couldn't live without. But I actually came to look at mirrors. So let's go look at mirrors and get it done because I have to choose mirrors for the vanities. No, oh, that doesn't look like a mirror. You're right. That might be cute for Christmas. Right? Right? Can't deny that. Okay, you probably can't really see the color, but I like this one possibly for my um, master bedroom and my office. I don't know about this though. This is, wow, the lighting's off here. But anyway, this is the color of the walls and that would be the mirror. I'm not sure. Not enough contrast, I don't think. Okay, so here are some other mirrors that I'm looking at for the vanities. And I'm trying to find the one I was looking at. So I thought about that one. But again, the wall behind it is going to be this repose gray. I think it's horrible. You can't really see what I'm talking about. But Gosh, you can't see. But yeah, I'm looking at that mirror right there. And I have this gray behind it, but I wish y'all could see how it looks. I just don't know. But I like this mirror too. It's darker, and I know the, the walls would pop. I mean, it would pop off the walls, okay. Focus. 
So that makes sense. I don't know. I could just be completely like off on this, but here's another one I like. Like this one, although it has a scratch on it, but I think that'd be okay with the walls. It'd be dark enough where you'd see it, like it'd be a contrast. So I took measurements because I want it to be big enough that it like covers the space well, but not like so small you're like, oh, it's a tiny mirror. So anyway, that's what I'm doing right now. I've been here for a while and not one person has asked if I needed help, and I actually do. I always hate when that happens, but Kirkland's has so much stuff that you could just like keep looking all day. It's kind of like going into Hobby Lobby or something. It's just like you could keep looking and looking and looking and you're like, oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. You know, that kind of thing. So anyway, I'm going to wrap up and go home. Okay, I managed to shop in Kirkland's. I got two stockings for the cats, obviously needed. And then I got these two little, um, let me show you, because they're kind of cute. And they're only like a, like 50 cents or something, but it was like little, um, little hot cocoa, like squishy like sweater material or whatever. And then I got um, something that said hot cocoa bar. So in the new house, my plan is to, on one area of the cabinets, underneath the glass cabinets actually, I'll set up like a drink station. So that's where the coffee stuff will be. That's where in the winter, um, and when we have guests over, I'll set up a hot chocolate bar. And uh, so anyway, uh, if we have guests over during the summer or whatever time, I'll set up like buckets with you know ice and drinks in there, stuff like that. So, uh, cause it's right by the fridge. Anyway, that's the plan. Didn't need any of that, but I spent less than $8. So, pretty sure like I need a medal or something or like an award that I can accept, you know. Thank you, I'd like to thank Kirkland's for this award. <laughs> I just feel like, I mean, just, I'm so happy. Okay, I'm gonna go to the house.